perfect. It is literally perfect. Legend. What do you think? I think you can do it. I'm telling you, one of us is gonna go down. There's just no way you, you go for something like that. And First try? First try, I mean, that would be- That'd be ideal. The most epic of outbreaks. So, I watched Alex's, when he dove that thing at the roller coaster, really tight in there. He like dove right next to it and practiced as if he was inside of it. I might try to do that. I've never done like a crazy dive like this, where it's inside of something and you have to pull out. I always think we're like some sort of bandits or something. We are. <laughs> we are, we are drone, drone bandits. bandits. I wish we could get up there. We just need you, can, you can just walk. But then where's the car gonna go? Right here. It's just a hill. Yeah, Dude, there could be snack. Snack? There could be snack in the hill. We need to be able to figure this out. This needs to be done. I'll follow your lead. You're in charge. I'm in charge. I mean, I'll dive the outside for sure. Wait, it's, like all, it's all about diving the inside. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about the inside because, like, I just think it's like a for sure crash. I mean, it, I think it'd be a for sure crash if there's like holes. Well, we don't. That's the thing. We don't know if it's in there or not. No. But we got, we got to go explore it. Why are you sending your quad right here? Where are you gonna? Are you gonna walk all the way up there? You're gonna try to dive the inside from here. I don't know about diving the inside. Let's scope it. We got drones to do the walking. I'll let you do us. the scoping. So we're just gonna scope it out before we walk through potential Snackville. So cinematic, flying up. This so cinematic. I think you should immediately try a tribute spinner. Yo, that looks like there's a dive in there. What do you see? I. There's a hole on top. There I don't, is definitely a hole. I just did a dive down the side to get something. It was a clean dive too. It's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go back up to it. Uh, it's like so dark in there. Oh, a bird just flew out. Did oh, you see yeah, that? I saw that. Yo, if you dive it right now from right here, all the Oh my god, I do see a light from the bottom. Yeah, that's did right. Did you I saw see that? Did you see that little bit of light? I did. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Ooh, my video oh, it goes see. all the way to the bottom. It does dude, it actually? It does. Yo. Dude, it does. Is there, you oh, see bars? video is horrible though. My video was bad. Dude, there's no doing it from down here. We're gonna have to go up there to do it. Hike time! Oh, yo, he's already doing the tricky stuff. I want to, but ah, oh, my video's getting really choppy. Is it when you go behind it or something? Yeah, it just blocks it big time. <laughs> yeah, ba basically when I'm on the back side of the trippy spin, it just totally freezes. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. I did do a trippy spin. Wow, it's windy. It is super windy. So it's diveable for sure. So do you want to you go up there and try to send it? I mean, I would be remiss if we did not. Yep. Let's go. Oh. oh. What? Barbed wire fence. All the way up. Is there really? Barbed yeah. wire fence? Well, I really want to go up there though. Yeah. We will find a way. I mean, it's, it's def, it's like, Obnoxiously doable. Exactly. The problem with sometimes with these chimney holes is they don't go down to the ground level. So like you can try it, but if you crash, then you have to like climb up to get in to go down. Like yes. it's a whole thing. But like this one is prime because there's a big hole at the bottom at ground level and it's totally clear. It's definitely not an easy maneuver, but like it's one we're gonna be. Like, it's 100% doable. doable. It's definitely doable. Yeah. The risk of destroying your quad is high, but I think the risk of like total loss. It's, it's, not, it's not re happen. totally reasonable as long as we can get up there. Yeah. But I'm seeing barbed wire. Well, if I had video, I would have done it. But my video was getting so, I was thinking, I'm like, I think I might just do it. But then the video was getting so sketchy. I was like, there's just no way I could do it. But then it's funny because I didn't even know there was barbed wire fence. Like had I known, I would have been way more nervous doing a trippy spin. I was doing a trippy spin up there, <laughs> but oh, we're gonna walk up anyway. I mean, so this goes up the hill. We could climb that ridge. Uh, so we found a gap in the fence. Yeah, the top of the ridge. <laughs> Drone bandits. <laughs> Drone bandits. <laughs> Feeling your dives. I'm 30. <laughs> yeah. My best friend is half my age. <laughs> I am literally half your age. I know. I'm aware. That's why I said it. What's your approach going to be for this dive? Watch you do it. <laughs> okay, let's go. So we wanted to get close to the base because our drones are remotely controlled. Wireless signal. We can fly them very far and we can fly them behind things, but when you are far and behind things, particularly very solid things, so no one can get very, uh, very choppy, 
And so when you're doing a precise maneuver like this, like navigating down a small pipe and trying to hit an exit, you want the best signal possible. So we want to set up here close so that you're the best signal and that in the, in the very unlikely event that you don't make it first try, first try, you can get it back easier. I've never had to do a dive where I'm rolling inside. And I'm assuming I'm gonna have to do that for this one. I mean, you probably will. If you don't want to, what I would do is I'd approach it from this side as the hole and then split us into it and just try to hug the back wall all the way down. All right. And that would be your best shot of not having to roll, but there's no shame in the roll. Yeah. Because you're probably gonna like end up roll. tracking, I mean, it looks cool, yeah. but I just think that's gonna make it harder to, to aim for the light. Gotcha. Guys, both net. Really, uh, a lot of power right off the bat. So you inspecting it? Oh yeah, that's yeah, totally it's clear, cool. man. It's totally that's clear. Totally clear. Are you gonna go down the side of it first? <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my! Oh my gosh! You were so close! Oh! Are you? Are you up? Yeah. Holy crap! Not too far. Can't stop it. Hit the ground. It bounced off. Kept going. It's kind of hard because I can't see where. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, too early. It's so hard. Too early. I, can't I thought you were, you were going too early. You think I'm going too early? Oh, yeah. You hit the top. Got, oh, I hit the top. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hold it longer. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <gasps> Can you limp it back? Nope. We got to walk for it. All right, sit tight. I'll go get you. Thank you. So that was close. But I just, I think the biggest thing was I was having trouble judging where the light was. So I have to let, do better. To fly better. Hey, Bobby. Hi. I need you to fly better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fine. It's magnetic. Oh, that's good. It's that magnetic stuff, man. Is the GoPro reading still? I, I cut it. Oh, oh dude. I don't know if that's going to fly. It'll fly. You got a lot of stuff in there. Ooh, hold up, dude. What? Another thing. These things get like squished in a little bit. Huh? And then your connector can be loose. These uh, problems. So I'm just going to try and spread them out a little. You can just kind of shove a tool in there. A Phillips head screwdriver is ideal because it kind of like lines up. But if you have like a 1.5 mil hex head, you can do it. Just be like really careful and then that'll do the job. And then the first plug-in is going to feel like too tight, but... I don't think the crash was that hard. Nah, yeah, it was you just bent a prop and yeah. got caught in the dirt. Yeah. Arm it, give it a little throttle. <laughs> See that one? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, watch the kicking up the dirt. All right. We're just going to rub it out. Gonna grind it out. You just need to get it started. Motor's always like, the, it's harder for them to start than it is for them to keep spinning. Sorry. You think that motor's is dead? No. Magnetic. Magnetic sand. Yeah. What are you gonna do? There's just so much stuff in there. Yeah. Do you have water? Do you have water? Bring it to the car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you wanna fly or you're not I wanna, wanna fly? fly? Because it like loosens it up. Spit? Yeah. It's a water liquid. Yeah, look, see, look at all that. Look how it's See that? It's spinning better? Yeah. Nice. And see the see the gunk in there? Ugh. Yeah. Oh, it's, this is gross. Alright, let's try arming one more time. Right. Let's go! Yes! Let's go! Is the GoPro rolling? Yeah. You sure? Yep. So like. Yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it. No, way too way early. Way too early. I gotta, you gotta hold it, man. The problem is I don't think I can, yes, you can have that catch. You think I can? Yeah, I mean it's not gonna be pretty. It's just gonna come to the bottom and then just flatten out in full throttle. So like, nice and wait, wait, wait. Now you gotta wait. Oh man, I see what that's you're what saying. I might have to do. You might have to do it with a roll then to, to shave off some speed on the way down. Should I send it now or? Your call, man. Cut. Give me that SD. No, 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 no <laughs> long range. Bring it back. Give me that SD card. Let's go. Oh, yes. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa. That was so sick. Without the roll. Without the roll. Perfect. That was perfect. That was perfect. It was perfect. It was perfect. Look, Drew Spit is still in there. Oh, it was the power of this. The, the power of the drip spit. The power of the drip spit. <laughs>